Alright, today we're going to be talking about our corn and soybean growth stages. Take us away, John, about corn. Alright, sounds good. Well, this is corn. It's pretty neat, ain't it? How do you this know it's corn? Well, good question, Sarah. It, uh, it's what we're known for in Iowa. And uh, we're going to be talking about it. Because we like corn. Alright, this here is the the E. And that is the... In yeah. <laughs> Anyways, this right here is radical. It's pretty pretty cool. It uh, helps uh, stabilize the seed and the plant of corn, and tries to get that get the water. You know, that's what it does. And then there's V1. Why do they call it V1? Because it's got a full leaf, complete leaf, and it's still growing. So they call it V1. And yeah, because there's one leaf, and the other one is still growing, so it's not a complete leaf, so it does not count as a full leaf. Grow. <laughs> Anyways, then you would continue with V, you just keep going, keep going, and then now you got VT, and that is when the tassel begins. And then you get the R1, the reproductive stage, and that is when you grow corn. <laughs> and that's all I got. <laughs> Bravo. All right, Sarah, let's talk about the soybeans now. All right, so the VE is <laughs> So, we got our VE, which is our soybean emergent stage. We're starting to come out of the ground. That's how we know that it's emerging. We got how do we know if this is soybean, Sarah? Look at the leaves, you know. You just tell they're soybeans. They're fuzzy. It's, it's, it doesn't look like a corn plant. Doesn't it really <laughs> better <or> fuzzy? <laughs> Shut up. It's got pot. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, our VC is our cotyledon stage. And this is an important stage because within 7 to 10 days, that's when it starts taking up nutrients. And then we've got our V1 through our V3, which is just the different stages of nodes. We've got our R1, where it starts to begin to flower. And then we've got our 3, where it's beginning to pod. Now what's the difference between R1 and R3? How do we know to transfer from R1 to R3? Because your R1 has the little pop for your little flowers and you don't have the pod starting yet. It's like pumpkins, alright? It's like Halloween. It's just like when you're making that, when you're going to take that pumpkin and you're going to open it up and make a jack out of it. I have no clue why I said that. Keep when you know you're, you're in R3 when you've got three sixteenths of an inch of a pod starting in the upper four notes. So what happened to R2? We just threw that one out the window. We didn't need that one. Because the same thing, because the R, cause the R2 is the same thing because you have more flowers and they're pretty. <laughs> and then we have an R5, where it's beginning to seed, and the pods are starting to fill. And then our R8 is when they change colors, and you can tell that it's mature because the color just changed. <laughs> Alright, that's our soybeans. Hey Sarah, I got a quick question. What happens if a soybean plant gets hail damage right here? You're, you're SOL. <laughs> <laughs> you're growing points above ground. Okay. So, hello, Mr. Cameraman. My name is Clayton Hester. Oh! Okay. <laughs> Are you okay? Yep, no. You're good. Okay, okay, because I don't know what to talk about. <coughs> so, I'm here to talk about uh, chemicals, I guess. So, uh, let's see here. So, let's see. For stages, you can only plant, not plant. Spray. Spray. Thank you, mm -hmm. corn guy. You can only spray up to a certain stage. Like uh, corn, you can spray option up to V6, corn. But if you spray it uh, over, uh, over the net, uh, it could probably do some damage to your corn. And you better just replant if it's not too late, or pray to God that the corn survives. That sounds like some really bad news. Yeah. 
So you're saying that understanding the stages day. from corn and soybeans, that it's a good management plan to know when to spray and not to spray. Is that right, Clay? Yes. Good deal. Good deal. And uh, does anyone else have anything else to say? Can growing degree days help to spray or? Good question, Clay. Good question. Yes, that is very important because then we can understand the different similarities in different times when bugs and pests and weeds will occur. Mm -hmm. And this is when what you talked about was you shut your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, we, I completely forgot what I talked about. <laughs> Yeehaw! And this concludes our presentation. <laughs>